Yeah, hello, this is uh, Ken Ross, uh, based in, in Zombo, Malawi, uh, but currently on a visit to Scotland. Wonderful. Thank you, Professor Ken Ross. It's lovely to welcome you. Thanks for making the time to chat to us. Um, the first question for you is, what does Black History Month mean to you? Well, it's very um, directly relevant to me uh, because I, I work in history uh, and, and church history in particular. Um, so I have students in Zomba who are uh, working on, on Malawian history, which of course, in the nature of the case, is, is black history for the most part. Wonderful, thank you. Um, now the second question for you is maybe in, in two parts. Um, how is Black History Month useful um, or important, we might say, and, and what does it mean specifically within the Scotland Malawi context? Okay, well, I think in, in general terms, uh, that there's, there's been injustice and omission in the, in the writing of history in the past. And I think having a month in the year where we're, we're brought face to face with that is, is a healthy thing. Otherwise, uh, th things can just drift. So I, I welcome very much the fact that the month is there. And uh, in our Scotland Malawi uh, context, we, we have a history uh, because this is not a new partnership. Uh, it's going back to the, the middle years of, of the 19th century. Uh, and it, it came through a, a time when uh, the writing of uh, history uh, was, was done in a way that I think today we, we have to take account of it, take stock of it. Um, of course, there, there's things to recognize that we still want to celebrate, uh, but there are also um, omissions and biases that we can now work to put right. Hmm. You mentioned a project recently that you're working on that might be working towards some of those goals. Might you share a few details about that? Uh, very happy to. Uh, yes, a lot of the, the early relations between Scotland and Malawi were through the missions, uh, the, the Scottish uh, missions, especially Blantyre and Livingstonia that were working in uh, Malawi from the 1870s. Mm. And uh, right from the word go, there's, there's been terrific interaction be between Scots and Malawians. But it has to be said that when the history of that early period was uh, written, um, it uh, very much put in, in the foreground uh, the Scottish uh, missionaries. Uh, mm -hmm. and their uh, endeavors in Malawi. And it tended to overlook uh, the fact that in the, in the building of these missions, which in many ways were the, the beginning of the Malawi nation, uh, there was a huge role played uh, by uh, Malawians. Um, so that's often silent in, in the history um, and so we have a project based at, at Zomba Theological College where, where we're looking to uh, retrieve that history, um, you know, rediscover some uh, of the Malawians who contributed to that uh, early history and, and indeed to the, the whole shaping of the, the church, which is such a force in Malawian life today. Mm. Fascinating. That sounds so interesting. Is there anywhere online that um, if anyone would like to, they could find out more about that project or perhaps it's it's a bit early for that and maybe that'll be down the line? Or... Uh, exactly. It's early, but it, it will be coming uh, because we're looking through our project to, to publish in an online publication that's called the Dictionary of African Christian Biography, uh, which is an online mm -hmm. resource continent wide. Uh, it already has contributions from Malawi, uh, but we're looking to add to them and extend them. Excellent, brilliant. Um, now, I'm excited to ask you this question because your work by nature is action within history. So the, the theme for this year's Black History Month is time for change, action, not words. What do you think about that? 
Um, no, I think it's a, it's a very apt uh, theme uh, for this for this time that we're in, and I know um, that there's a very valid sense of of impatience uh, that you know racism has been uh, called out for a long time. Uh, so there's been a lot of words, um, but action to put things right has seems to have been slower. And, and coming. So I think it's a very uh, apt uh, theme and an apt uh, call. Um, I guess what we're doing in our project is, is lo looking to, uh, to build memory or to strengthen uh, memory uh, that can be inspiring for action today.